Proteins are giant biological molecules which work by docking together like two pieces of a jigsaw. Unfortunately, computers are still unable to work out how these proteins will dock. What we realised is that the human brain is excellent at solving such spatial problems. So what we've done is to develop bioblocks. Crowdsourcing is when you make accessible your application to the largest number of people as possible. In the context of uh, science, uh, we want to uh, bring to play the expertise of humans in solving tough pattern recognition problems. Computers are not good at dealing with 3D shapes. And here we're developing a Tetris-like game in 3D. We definitely need the expertise of the human to help us. Computer gaming can improve science in many different ways. For example, it gives us access to state-of-the-art computer graphics, real-time interactions. It also brings into play a lot of experience in how to make um, a software interface more interesting, more fun to uh, deal with. Uh, and in science, we usually don't have that kind of knowledge. The vision for Bioblocks was to produce a game which was fun for players to use. So the players might have been playing Candy Crush, but they'd pick up Bioblocks and find themselves having a fun puzzle experience with complex protein structures, getting involved with serious science. We used advanced 3D rendering techniques, advanced gameplay mechanics, audio, some narrative, using techniques that are widely used in the mainstream games industry, the, the fun games that everyone likes to play. It's a serious computer game where hundreds of thousands of players from around the world will help us solve the protein docking problem.